The current location assessment builds on the other activities completed this week. In one activity, you use the browser's native ability to interact with your device to get its location. Using that ability, you wrote a JavaScript function that would ask for the current location by latitude and longitude and store those values into variables. Those variables were then combined into a comma-separated string and stored into a new variable. This new variable was then sent as a parameter into the getData function. In a different activity, you built the getData function. This function requested weather information for the current location from the API. That data was returned as a JSON object, which was stored into a variable. That variable is now being passed as a parameter into a new display data function. This assessment has you build the new function. Its job is to extract the data from the JSON object and insert it into the web page so that the weather information for your current location is displayed. As you can see, we arrive at the current location page. This page should be the index.html page in the weather folder. When loaded into the browser, we should be asked if we allow the browser to determine our location. We answer yes. A pause then occurs. Notice the message on the screen indicating that data is being requested. As our location is determined and the data, based on our location, is requested. Once the data is retrieved, it is fed into our new function. That function extracts the data from the object and inserts it into the web page. When the data insertion is complete, the page is displayed and the getting data message is hid. This is the result of the completed activities and assessment.